In this video, we'll discuss the reaction of metals with water and metals with acids. In the previous video, we had discussed how metals react with oxygen to provide metallic oxides, right? And metallic oxides react with water to produce bases, right? The question is, can metals directly react with water? And if that happens, does that also produce a base? Is this reaction even possible? And if it is possible, are there any other byproducts that are produced in such a reaction? Let's explore this with a few examples. If I took sodium and got it to react with water, that would produce NaOH plus hydrogen gas. That's sodium hydroxide. It is a base. Okay, so our guess was correct. Metal plus water does end up giving a base. Okay, great. Now, let me just balance this equation before we move forward. Okay, there you go. Okay, our next example is magnesium. Magnesium plus water produces MgOH twice plus hydrogen gas. That is magnesium hydroxide. Yes, it's a base. But there is a small catch in this equation. Magnesium does not react with water at room temperature. Magnesium reacts with hot water. So this entire thing needs to be heated up for this reaction to actually take place. Let me just again balance this equation. Great. Our next example is going to be aluminium. Aluminium plus H2O gives ALOH thrice plus hydrogen gas. That's aluminium hydroxide. Yes, it's a base, but we have a problem here. Try to take aluminium and get it to react with water. Just doesn't work. Aluminium reacts with H2O only when it's steam, right? So aluminium is even less reactive than magnesium. Okay, you can't even get it to react with hot water. You need steam for aluminium to react with H2O. Okay, great. Okay, let me just balance this equation before we move forward. Great. So can I generalize and say metal plus water gives a base plus hydrogen gas? And there's something interesting about this hydrogen gas. When you take a, a lit matchstick and bring it close to the mouth of a test tube where hydrogen gas is being produced, you get a pop sound. The matchstick will go off with a pop sound. Don't worry, I'll uh, discuss this in detail towards the end of the video. Just hold on till the end and all of this will be discussed. Now, there is a question that's going to come up. Is this uh, equation of metal plus water is base plus hydrogen gas going to hold true for every single metal? Will every single metal react with, you know, cold water, hot water, or at least steam? Nope. Not all metals react with water. And that's going to be what we're going to look at next. For example, copper does not react with water. This reaction just doesn't work. Okay. And the same goes for silver or gold or platinum. These metals just don't react with water right? And think about it, if gold reacted with water, and let's say you were wearing a gold ring on your finger, do you think that your ring would survive if you washed your hand? Or even if you left your gold ring just outside on the table, don't you think the gold would react with the moisture and then get destroyed? Well, that doesn't happen, and that's because gold does not react with water. And I'd like you to pause for a moment and think about it. All these are the expensive metals right? Silver, gold, and platinum. And they're expensive for a reason. They're expensive because they do not get corroded or destroyed easily, right? They don't rust. They don't get corroded, right? Okay, let's move on to the next type of reaction. Do metals react with dilute acids? Yes, they do. What is the product? Let's again look at a few examples and then come to our conclusions. What if I took sodium and got it to react with H2SO4, sulfuric acid, right? I'd like you to pause for a moment and think about the reaction. What do you think the products would be? Can you predict the products? Well, uh, this reaction produces Na2SO4 plus H2 gas. Okay, uh, do you see anything similar with the previous reactions? Yes, the hydrogen gas being produced is exactly the same like the previous reactions with water, right? Okay, before we move forward as usual, we've got to balance the reaction. Great. What about aluminium? Does aluminium react with uh, dilute acids? Let's say I get aluminium to react with HCl. Will this work? Yes, it does work. Can you take a moment to uh, pause and predict the products? Well, you're right. AlCl3 is produced along with hydrogen gas. What about, um, okay, before we move on to the next, let me just balance this equation. Great. Okay, zinc. What about zinc? Zinc plus HCl. Does this reaction work? 
Yes. I'd like you to again pause for a moment and try to predict the products of the reaction. Now, why I'm asking you to pause and try to predict the product of the reaction is this exercise of predicting products will help you to guess what, uh, how the reaction is going to work. And it also helps you strengthen the muscle of, you know, playing with those valencies. Okay, so uh, this will give you ZnCl2 zinc chloride, and that's how that looks along with hydrogen gas. Okay, now this hydrogen gas that's being produced each of these times, this hydrogen gas actually produces the same pop sound like earlier. Don't worry, we'll discuss it towards the end of the video. Let me just generalize this entire story and say metals plus dilute acids give salt plus hydrogen gas. Okay, and yes, the pop sound. Okay, before we move forward, I just need to balance the last equation I've written there. Okay, great. Now we can move forward. Okay, let me ask you a question. Are there any exceptions in this metals plus dilute acid story? Yes, of course, it's chemistry. There will be exceptions. Okay, because every um, element, every molecule behaves a different way. And so it's a little hard to make those generalized statements. Okay, let's take those uh, same old uh, non-reactive metals. Copper, silver gold, platinum. These don't react with acids. You, most acids. You take copper and try to mix it with H2SO4, doesn't work. Nothing happens to the copper. Okay. Uh, same thing with silver. Silver and HCl does not react. Okay. Uh, gold and H2SO4 does not react. Platinum plus HCl does not react. What I want to clarify here is that this doesn't mean that copper would react with HCl. No, that doesn't happen. doesn't mean that silver reacts with h2so4 no that doesn't happen all of these metals here generally don't react with any dilute acid okay great okay i'd like to make one more statement hno3 nitric acid doesn't react very well with any metal not just these metals mentioned on this page but doesn't react well with metals in general okay great let's now move on to this whole pop sound story Okay, now uh, let me show you a reaction that's happening in this conical flask. There's some HCl in this conical flask and I'm going to add some zinc into the container. Okay, so let me remind you which reaction this is. This is that zinc plus HCl reaction. Okay, ZnCl2 and hydrogen gas. Okay, let me just play this reaction once again. You know that something's happening when we put the zinc into the HCl, there's bubbles being produced. So that means some gas is being produced. But how do you, you know, uh, say for sure that this is hydrogen gas, right? That is a valid question. Now, how this is done is uh, you take a test tube, or in this case, there's a small uh, tube that is leading outside the conical flask. You bring a lighted match close to the test tube where hydrogen gas is being produced. Okay, and there's something very interesting that happens. You'll notice that this matchstick goes off with a pop sound. It's something like, let me play it again for you. It sounds like, once again. Okay, so uh, that's pretty interesting. I'd encourage you to go to your laboratory and try it out. Trust me, once you hear it or see it in real life, you just cannot forget. Okay, and that is a characteristic uh, of hydrogen gas, and that's how you can identify hydrogen gas easily. That's it for this video.